Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it is time for another daily dose of Dismal Disney. <laughs> That's just every day, right? I'm yeah. just... <laughs> so we previously, they decided to release a video with the cartoons repurposed on it about how to vote. And people were like mocking it because it was basically an insult to the intelligence of shareholders. So now um, Iger himself decided to to make a video yeah. to tell you what you should and shouldn't do. And hot damn, they're also doing a website because Pelt has a website and they're using money from the company to, to fund the website. Yes, yeah, so we're going to talk about this. This is Bob Iger on bended knee pleading with shareholders to keep the board intact and they're going to use nostalgia and magical music to make sure that you don't change anything at Disney. Uh, meanwhile, we've got Elon Musk um, posting this on, on Twitter today, D's nuts, uh, fuel, fueling speculation that maybe he's, he's going to buy some Disney I stock. I don't know. He hasn't really said that. I don't know. There's he speculation. Have, no, but it doesn't matter at this point in time. Listen though, it doesn't matter. He would have had to have bought it before the fifth. If it That's was going to make any impact on the voting, it had been purchased before the fifth. And I'm sure that that so would have come to people's He would attention. have had to have done it already yeah. or it's not going to matter. So he's probably just trolling because he told Bob Iger famously to go F himself. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll see. Maybe maybe the board will be told to go F themselves after April. But he is bringing up some valid points. The stock is up and that's all people care about at the end of the day. A lot of people. So Right. But, you know, <sighs> I, like I said yesterday, here's my thing. If, if you guys could have done something to fix the stock and, you know, made announcements that would have boosted it before, why didn't you? Like yeah. it sat under a hundred dollars for months and down to lowest it's been in a decade. And if you could have, you know, gotten Taylor Swift or something like that and announced it before, why did you wait until your, your backs were against the wall yeah. to do something? And then are you going to continue to do something? Or are you just going to rest on your laurels once again for a whole nother year? That's what I have to wonder. Yeah. So let's, uh, let's talk about this before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys get woohoo. If you do. Woohoo. So I have to give a hat tip to Scott Gustin on Twitter, who put the video out here. We're going to react to this. Uh, this is the first time we've watched it in its entirety. I want to read the tweet, though. In a new video, Disney CEO Bob Iger addresses shareholders save, saying their vote is important to Disney's future. Other outlets are reporting this is going to be one of the most expensive proxy battles and that the votes are going to count. Like little shareholders are going to count, too, because it's not just the big ones. This isn't a... This is going to be down to like everyone voting, okay? Yeah. And they said he also said that major distractions we're facing from activist investors are exactly what we don't need. That's what you said last year, Bob. I mean, I'm, I'm going to, okay. It's not just one group, okay? It's so bad. There were literally three activist investor groups. We have the Pelts group um, with Tryon. We have Blackwell's Capital. We also had Value Act Capital, but you turned around and made a little side deal with them. So yeah. they, they stay on your side to help you, but they got they apparently they get information first, which other investors are mad about. I also question that. That's not right. But three different groups, three came after Disney because they don't think that it's going in the right direction. It's not just like one person who's mad. It's three different groups because the company has been, you know, hemorrhaging money and they're just making announcements they actually haven't followed through on like, oh, we're going to make 60 billion in park investments. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Over 10 years. So you, know, you have to wait and see. Iger was responsible solely for a lot of the problems the company's facing. If it was so easy to fix Disney Plus by making a Taylor Swift announcement and putting a Mo and fixing the box that was by Moana 2 film, why did you wait until you, you know, you were had to do something to keep your butts in the seats to do something? Yeah. It like doesn't make any sense. And then you're just going to use the whole hot thing. If you're like Mickey Mouse, you'll keep us in. You don't want those bad people to come in. And there's people like they're, oh, they're going to take a hostile takeover. Two seats on the board isn't a hostile takeover, dumbass. No. Anyway, God, keep sipping the Mickey Kool-Aid. <laughs> Any, anyway, let's, uh, ass let's. Flavored. It's ass flavored. Yes. It's ass flavored. Ass and dreams. Broken dreams. Ass and broken dreams. That sounds like an album. That could be an album. That'd, ass. Be, that'd be my first album. Ass and broken dreams. All right. So we're going to, we're going to watch this. We're going to react to it. Uh, th of course they've got the whole, from what I did see of it, they've got the whole magical musical melody. Of course. Medley going on here. Like, the heartstrings. 
Yep, yep. Like, hey, this is Walt's company. No, it's not. That's that's, that's the, the problem. People want it to be Walt's company. You want it to be Walt's company? My personal opinion is you get Jay Rizzullo in there. That's that's probably the best you're going to do. But, I, I think that's what most people want. They want it to go back to being good. And I mean, your box office was shit. It's not that you're already starting out this year not good, which I talked about yesterday. Yep. Um, basically you're like bet, betting on, you know, Deadpool and some other stuff, but doesn't, I mean, I'm sorry. Some of them, there are things you're betting on. I don't think are going to work. Moana two is basically a cartoon series that you're putting into a movie just to have an announcement. The Taylor Swift, okay, Taylor Swift eras tour. If you were smart, you would have got that the movie rights to that in the first place and said, let AMC take it. Yeah. You know, that would have been, yeah, that would have done a lot better at the box office than most of the, the Disney movies they've released. Yeah. But they, they, you know, they were asleep at the wheel. Yeah, yeah. So let's uh, let's take a look at this. We're gonna react. Let me blow it well, up. I'll here react all right. I'm Bob Iger, CEO of the Walt Disney God Company. Hi, Bob. Ahead of our upcoming annual meeting, I wanted to update you about the company's significant recent achievements, which are and share why your vote this year is so important. Yeah. You Notice know, he said recent achievements. I mean, recent as of, achievements. As of last month or two. Because they're going to look at the last year. I mean, that's the thing. Like, they're going to look at the last year. It's going to be whatever they announced to get the, the stock up. Well, I'm just saying, like Nelson Pelzo, he's like, I gave you an extra year and you guys dropped the ball. You had box office failure after failure after failure. Like, how long can you let this go on? Well, the, you yeah. know, the strikes were in there too, which wasn't, ex I would say it wasn't their fault, but they also weren't giving them what they wanted and dragging it out. Which, to you know, save I, money. But I don't disagree with everything because some of the things they were asking for, I agree with Amp Tip on. Some things I don't. I, I didn't I, agree, but I think the, they um, did. I think the AI thing, that's a sticky issue. But then as soon as they sign the agreement, they're already I don't know. They're already selling people's voices Shocker. off. You know, Ursula style. But no, I think what, what gets me about um, this was they're saying, hey, we made so much money. I'm like, yeah, you're going to make more money when you're not spending money on productions because everything's... Right. How Shut much down. Was that? Yeah. You know, and that's what all these studios counted on. They're like, oh, yeah, let them go on strike for like a year. We'll just save our money and then we'll just fire everybody after the fact and start over. To Disney's future. It's not going to be a future. If you don't fix it. Much like the board. Since I returned to the company. Oh, Walt would hate what this Walt's, company is. Walt's back was turned to them. And I'm enormously optimistic about our future. That makes one of us. Mm hmm. Look, 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 look at our oh, brand. The animation. There's Yoda. <laughs> Yeah, there's yeah. Look at there's our Walt's brands. Ass. That that's basically what Disney modern day Disney is. It's Walt's ass. It's it's the leftovers of a much better company. But, and, we, but the thing is, we don't want it gone. We no, want it I don't better. want it gone. And I'm fix sorry it. if all you're gonna fix it, he would have done so by now. Yeah, he's had plenty of time. He he's the one who I think put it in the position it's in. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. For the past year, we've assembled a new team of experienced leaders. Ew. We've created a much more efficient and highly effective company structure. The, the layoffs. steps we've taken to propel Disney into <laughs> yeah, a new right. era of growth are paying off. Hey, wait. The steps are big they did to propel it into a new era of growth. You had to trim off a bunch of stuff that were bad decisions from previous, you know, him and Pride Chapek. But your new era of growth might you just throw off a lot of dead weight. You're gonna cut you're gonna cut back on on shows and movies that don't do well, which we told you to do years ago. Yeah. And they're going to double, triple down on, you know, Frozen 3 and, and Toy Story 10. And, you know, it's five. I know. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, that's that that's the thing. It's like if, if you guys, if the current leadership could have fixed things, they would have fixed them exactly by now. And most of the board's been there the whole time since yeah. he was there. You God. still have a lot of the same people. Uh, and that's the problem. That's that's the problem. They it's need like, to what's go. the definition of insanity? Like doing the same thing over and over again, expecting change. That's what this is. As evidenced by our recent earnings performance, recent and new growth initiatives. Recent. Like whoa, whoa, whoa. Recent earnings performance. Just like last like like month or last. I don't even think it was in that long. Last couple of weeks or so, your stock went up. It was still shit for a long time. It was staying in the eighties and nineties for a long time. It didn't go over a hundred until when you guys started making announcements about actually doing something. This is him begging. I mean, the fact that they've had two videos, the one with uh, Ludwig von Drake, and then this one within the span of what, 10 days? That tells me they're freaking That's the hell exactly out. That's exactly what's going on. They yeah. are freaking out. Look, all the, all this stuff. Okay, Disney shares jump 8%. That was recent. Uh, company turned a corner saying it's not higher. Here we're talking about um, Q1. 
Okay, this is we're talking like in the last few days. Disney stores soars ahead of health thing. Share spike because of Epic Games. Disney take one point five Epic Games, which yeah. again I want to say it might look like a short term spike, but unless things get changed over there, it's not going to last long. And I think it's on the decline anyway. Disney stock pops. When he says recent, he means like in the last week, guys. That's how recent he means. That's not a trend. That's not a. a, a that's not proof of change. That's just you got a blip till everybody sees where you're going to go with it. And it doesn't mean it's going to stay there. And it might, and it might go up higher if they can continue to actually do their damn job, which they suddenly figured out how to do in the last month. Underway to build our businesses. The team and I have a responsibility to ensure that Disney is one of the most admired companies in the world. Well, yeah, yeah you were. <laughs> you were. This is one of our biggest priorities. Wait, 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 wait. They want to make sure Disney's one of the most admired companies in the world, which imply in the world, which implies that it's no longer and it's one of their priorities to make it so. So he's basically admitting they're no longer one of the, the most admired companies. No, it's, it's our mission to make it that way. But wasn't it before? Uh, yeah, right. This should have been the mission the entire time, and you can't just blame Chapek. He wasn't there very long, and he did not get to make any major major decisions. You know what I'm saying? Because it was he was basically the pandemic the pandemic boss of Disney. I know I do love Disney parks. I do. Yeah, I know. Hit me every time. I, it, it, I'm, I'm honest about it. It's my weakness. I hate that the castle's pink now. It just doesn't work for me. And that's because they can make a generic castle like the other ones. Yeah, that's what they're doing. They're like, oh, we'll make all the castles the same color so we can just sell generic Disney castle merch. And I hate that because Cinderella Castle was always different. It was always unique. It was always blue. I do. I do love it, though. It's a problem. Continue. Yeah, it is a problem. I also want to return to a place where we're consistently delivering shareholder value. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're consistently delivering shareholder value. Well, your shares have been in the shitter for a while. But beyond that, it's not about customer value. It's about shareholder value. This would... Because it's corporate. This would make Walt turn in his grave. Because Walt wasn't about shareholder value. Obviously, Roy uh, wanted to make sure that they got their money back or whatever. But... Um, what yeah, it was about creating and seeing what he could do. I yep. mean, they almost bankrupt themselves with Snow White. Yeah. Walt was about making enough money to be able to do the next big thing. Right. And and they're just like, yeah, we're going to, you know, uh, milk these IP as much as we can for shareholder value. But it's not even about that. The parks. It's not even about customer value. It's not even about no. families. It's about shareholder value because he's talking to the shareholders. But then he'll do it about face when he's talking to customers and families. We're about you. We want to make it so you like it and so it's affordable for you. But you're not because at the end of the day, you're trying to push shareholder value and the theme parks offset losses again because they keep raising prices on everything. Mm -hmm. Steps in that direction by declaring a second higher dividend and Oh, yeah. No, 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 uh, no, no. Yeah. OK, so they gave dividends in January. So now what they're doing is stock buyback and a 50 percent higher dividend in July, which suddenly got announced when they could potentially lose their seats. Yes. Um, no, they're, no, bribing you. they're bribing yes. you. They're bribing you. They're bribing you. Bob, there. he's bribing, begging and bribing by initiating a three billion dollar stock buyback. Program. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I told you. All yep. This takes a lot of work. That we threw together. -like focus on the task at hand. Laser-like focus that we just threw out, pulled out of our ass like in the last month or two. So th this is what's so disgusting about it, though. Their, their laser-like focus isn't on making the best possible product, the best possible stuff, the most creative stuff. I'm not hearing anything about creativity. I'm hearing shareholder value, money, money, money. Uh, well, let's... that's because they're talking to the shareholders. They want the shareholders to vote for him. If he was trying to get people to, like, you know, come to the parks, it's a completely different. They give you a completely different take about it's all about family. We care about your family until we have to worry about shareholder value. Yeah. And the thing is, I would argue if you make the customers happy and you give customers what they want and you make it affordable for the customers and fun for the customers, and easier for the customers, Bob, I think you would automatically get more shareholder value because everything would would go up for you, but you keep making it, you know, so convoluted and difficult and you keep making dumbass decisions. In my opinion. Which is why the major distractions we're facing from activist investors are exactly what we don't need. It's exactly <laughs> what you do need because until yeah. they showed up, you didn't do any of this that, shit. That is true. That's the thing. The only reason they're doing any of the stuff they're doing now the only reason they're announcing any of the stuff they're announcing now the only reason they're spending any money in the parks you know is because 
their jobs are on the line. Mm -hmm. That that is literally that's what the it. stock, the 50% increase in dividends and the buyback and all that shit. And these deals like with Taylor Swift, Epic Games and all this other crap that they're spending all this money all of a sudden is because they're trying to keep their butts in the seats. Like him and his friends, and he can control the board. You get these other people in, why doesn't he want them on the board? Because they aren't going to do what he wants, like the people he has there now. And the people that Pelt are targeting are like his wife's friend's husband. And so like that, you know, people that he can control or that his, are his buddies. I thought that you say her wife's boyfriend's husband. Well, you know why? I mean, it, who knows what these people, but I'm just saying, you know, yeah. it's like, if you know, you, that's exactly what the problem is and why it needs to be brought to attention. It's exactly why it needs to happen now because you guys don't do jack shit. When the stock was bottomed out, you didn't do anything. But that now is that true. you're in trouble, now that now that it's coming for you and you might get booted, now all of a sudden you're pulling this stuff out your ass. Yeah, it's just or like Walt's ass as you keep showing. Oh, God. Walt, I, I, he would be disgusted. He'd be absolutely disgusted by the company that Disney Walt, has become. Walt, take your, I think mean, a lot of people are absolutely disgusted at this point. I'm urging you to vote for the Disney board's recommended slate of I'm urging you to vote against. A white proxy card. Blue, blue, blue. <laughs> He said blue. Not to vote for the nominees presented by these activist hedge funds. That, again, I want to point out, activist hedge funds, we, now's not the time. We're not talking like one group coming at them because, you know, then you could argue, okay, they're just salty because they have uh, Perlmutter stocks. But there's three. And then one that shut them up they, they, because they would go along with him. He, he rolled them in so that they, they could help him get further along. So they get they get a say that way, but there's three total that were coming in there because they thought the company was in the wrong direction. It's not just one that you could dismiss. Three. Yeah, yeah, because everybody everybody sees that Disney is in the worst place has been in a very very long mm -hmm. time. I mean, I'm talking. I would say Disney right now is viewed. Uh, pretty much how they were in like the late '70s, going into the early '80s where they, they definitely had a lot of damage. And that's when Eisner had to come in and, and course correct. And of course, they got rid of Eisner. They pushed him out for this idiot. But uh, well, what I'm concerned about, uh, as far as customers go, is that if we get, okay, so it, right now they're focused on shareholder value. The problems are like at the parks, which is offsetting a lot of their losses. They're offsetting the losses because they're nickel and diming people with Genie Plus and all that. And it's getting ridiculous on that. And I don't think that's going to change. No matter who you get in there, it's not. None of that's going to change. And I think it's going to bite them in the ass in the long run. Yeah, oh, I agree. And I Walt's agree. ass that they keep showing, but I don't recommend biting that because I think it's 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 metal. Or to make sure we are able to continue our momentum from the past year, and ensure the success of the Walt Disney whoa, whoa, whoa. Company. Momentum for the past year. What momentum from the past year? A downward momentum. What momentum? <laughs> yeah, Your box like, office failed. Disney yeah. Plus lost subscribers. Yeah. You had to make a deal over with a hot star uh, because, you you know, to try to keep your, your hold of Disney Plus subscribers so they didn't show a loss that way. You um, are going to have a boost in subscribers here shortly, but that's from the Charter Spectrum deal that you had to negotiate, the carriage deal, which I said then was going to be, they were going to say, oh, we got all these new subscribers, which is exactly what they did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your stock bottomed out to like the lowest it's been in a decade. It only has come up in the last like a month or so. And so that's this year. So over the last year, where was the momentum? I don't know. A They're lot of, I mean, for how many people you fired? You started out with like one number and you went over that? I mean, that momentum? Because that's oh. all the momentum I'm seeing. Yeah, it's definitely uh, downward. The momentum has been downward. Every movie More has like been a failure. More a bowel movement than it is momentum. They need to flush the board. I'm telling you, they got to flush the board. As the world's leading and most beloved entertainment company. But you're not anymore. Our not anymore. At our company is oh, look, look, all the stuff you love. Yep. There's Marvel. Oh, more Marvel. Oh, look inside out. Oh, Pixar. Oh, Cinderella. Oh, there's Mickey giving you a hug. Avatar. Yeah. Oh, this is basically all the stuff we're going to do this year. Like the the, Man the Mando Grogu movie is coming, what, next year? Yeah. The, uh, the Planet of the Apes is this year. Inside Out 2 is this year. <laughs> so what you're not seeing, what you're not seeing is uh, Ant Man and the Wasp. You're not seeing Ray. You're not Strange seeing. World. You're not seeing the Marvels. You're not seeing Strange World. Well, that was your performance still. Somebody should recut this with like all their box office failures. Mm -hmm. Just boom, 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 boom. You're not seeing Gina Carano in the. In the this. Well, he has no comment. Oh, look, Deadpool. Into a yep. preeminent digital sports platform. Yeah. Okay. They've been trying to do that for ten years. I, I just 
to say it. They keep pushing this, but then they keep having losses. And then when they had the pandemic, they weren't even running sports because they didn't have sports. So they were running like anime based on sports. Yeah, it was weird. And, like, They're like Prince of Tennis and, and stuff like that. They're running at ESPN. And then there was all the problems with people they were paying ridiculous salaries to. And they said they had too many talking heads. Yeah. I'm really confused about where they think ESPN's going, but he won't stop trying to make it work. Yeah. Maybe put as much effort into not filling at the box office or making the parks better. To turn streaming into a significant growth business with increased reach and strong margins. He's reading off that. He's because re- that, that's what Peltz. That's what Peltz is upset about. He's saying, but mostly Disney Plus. You're not. You're supposed to be profitable. They said since the beginning. To be fair. They weren't going to be profitable in 2024. They've made that clear since the beginning. So I'm not going to fault them on that one because they have been very upfront about that. But now we're coming to the end of 2024 and it's still not looking like it's going to be profitable. And they're not going to hit the subscriber numbers they claim they would have. Yeah. And they're not coming anywhere near Netflix. They were going to be as big as Netflix by 2024. And now they're, we showed you, I showed you on the video yesterday that they, with youth anyway, they're like a third of the people of, of what Netflix is getting. Okay, it, it's it's not good. I, you're gonna you're not gonna do it in one year, that's for sure. Sorry. Charge growth in our experiences business. All of these goals are achievable. We've already. No, they're not. If they if they were, they would have done it by now. Well, not just that, but they're, they're parks. Okay, for example, Walt Disney World. I just did a story today on PiratesAndPrincesses.net. Do you know what? Want to know what's coming out for 2024 from from Disney for you know their expansions and all the stuff they're going to do. We got uh, the the Tiana's Bayou Adventure, which is a reskin of Splash Mountain that they they were trying to put through for years and use the the riots to get it put through. That's coming in 2024. Um, we have the Country Bear Jamboree that they decided last year needed to be redone to IP songs to be like yeah. the Grand Old Opry, so they could just re-record their IP songs. Um, they they just shoved that one in there for, and it's new, guys. It's new. We're just you know. They're doing a the the Little Mermaid, the Voyage of the Little Mermaid theater. They closed down that at, at when COVID started. They're finally reopening it this year with a new show, and it's going to have a, the theater's going to be updated, which it needed updated for quite a while. They never did it. Um, Epcot's getting the pavilion or the the Communicor Hall, which was the festival pavilion, a reimagining of it that was supposed to be done years ago, but it got pushed back. And um, oh, and they're putting new new characters into Star Tours. The new, 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 new places and characters in the Star Tours, probably the Acolyte. That's, oh my God, I'm that's sure what that's going to go year. That's well, all yeah. the new improvements, all except for one thing, are all just reskins of something else. And the one thing that's new was something that was supposed to be done years ago, and they delayed it and changed it. <sighs> Meanwhile, Universal is building an entirely new park. Well, overseas, they're getting all this cool stuff, but we're not getting it over here. No. Because they here, overseas, they still have to try. Over well, they're here, not all owned by them overseas, so they're yeah. not paying for all of it. Well, that's true. So that's the thing. Like the Tron coaster, that wasn't a new thing. That was actually uh, co-financed by China. And it took how long to be built here and they already had yeah. it? Ten years for them to get it over here. same thing. Ratatouille, Remy's, same Remy's thing. Ratatouille Adventure is already in France. It's so, same, same ride. Here's my, here's my take, right? If you are if you want to be a beloved entertainment company, this is, this is your home turf. This is... You know, you you need to bring your your genius ideas to America first. Mm-hmm. Well, then and, they but here they can have them pay for R and D, and then they can just clone it. Yeah, so we get the leftovers. We get the in America our parks it's like contact. get contact. <laughs> so yeah. one by one, but one you can do too. That's exactly it. But we're getting sloppy seconds. You know what I'm saying? Like we're not getting the good stuff. They're well, building I would the good argue stuff the live action there. remakes are sloppy seconds too, and they're no, not that's performing. True. That's true. All right, let's let's get through this made meaningful progress with each of them meaningful the progress for us are very exciting that the games yeah and we know that we have the strategy you the waited talent. they waited until fortnite was on the decline to buy into epic games yeah because it was a last man thing well i think epic games needed a cash infusion too after the 500 and some million dollar payout they had to do yeah they they got sued they got sued i think twice in like two years it was it was it was the same it was it was the ftc for both yep one was about putting children in danger at risk for child violating the Child's Privacy Act, and the other one was for for questionable behavior involving micro transactions, like, like the in-game buys and stuff like that. <sighs> and they God. already they they got they lost; they had to pay it. Yeah. And now here comes Disney after the right. fact. I mean, now maybe Fortnite and that, my Epic had to change stuff, and they maybe they did, but. 
It's not really a good look. And then I, Taylor Swift are just trying to ride off of that one. It's all the buzzwords. Like, what are the kids into today? Oh, the Fortnite and the Taylor Swift and the... That's the biggest thing. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. She's the biggest thing right now, right? That's what we're going to do. We're going to go on. And that was... You, you, I mean, good you, for her for getting the money, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. Squeeze good for them, her. Taylor. Squeeze them. <laughs> squeeze Mickey. <laughs> um, I don't but, want think she wants to squeeze Iger. Oh, God. Uh, but no, I'm just saying, like, yeah, you, you get that bag, right? Uh, but it's just like they waited until it, it feels like they just threw a bunch of stuff together like a month before the earnings that's call exactly what they did. to like, be like, what's popular? Hurry. Yeah. That. Just, yep. We're going to do that. We have a plan. I swear. The resources and the determination to be successful. But wait, 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 wait. If you have determination to be successful, <laughs> why did you not do it until now? I love <laughs> that's, that's how we all feel, Bob. <laughs> we're smelling it. For your continued support, and I urge you to vote on the white proxy card white. in support of dis blue. That's racist. Go blue. Jay Rizzullo, he was there when Eisner was there, and things were much, much better. Disney director nominees. Vote no. Disney.com. Paid for in part by whatever, whatever, whatever. Here, like this. Our goals are to are to improve the quality of the films we produce. Now to transition ESPN to a permanent digital sports platform and return streaming into a significant growth business. Okay, but the films, the films, we've been telling you. The audiences have been telling you for a while now. It's not like an overnight thing. We've been telling you for a while we don't want this shit. And you kept doubling down on the shit. We kept telling yeah. you we don't want characters, race, and gender swap. We don't want all the Marvel characters replaced. We don't want, um, you know, the stuff you've been giving us that's all been half-assed and full of, you know, chock full of certain things. We don't want that. We don't want the live action remakes. Oh my God, that's a big one. We don't want this shit. And you keep on doing it. And then you're like, I don't know what happened. I guess, go well, trust us now. We're going to fix it. I'm like, but you could have fixed it a while ago and you didn't until you had, until you're really under threat because now there's three groups coming at you. <sighs> Normally a three way is a lot of fun, but. Uh... Right. Well, yeah, well. <laughs> Wait, wait, they what? Can't all give it, they <laughs> can't said... all give it to you in the rear end. So, you know, not at uh, the same time. Yeah, Disney's uh, definitely definitely taking it from behind uh, at this point. They're getting but they're it. giving it from the front to value act. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so I don't know, guys. Bob's uh, talking, oh, my, 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 my. <laughs> don't talk with your mouth. Pretty much. Bob. Uh, I think this is desperate. I'm going to tell you. I mean, you know, we've seen two attempts to sway people to vote white. Not very progressive of you there, Disney, but that's <laughs> the way Disney, it works. Disney, 100-year track record of creativity. Yes, you did. You did until the last few years. So I'd say you had like a 90 to 95-year track record. I would with say- With a few off years in there. Yeah, I would say the the downward spiral began about 10 years ago. I'm just saying, um, you know, you there's a, a track record of growth and it's not all been you people. And, and since Bob Iger has been there, and especially the last several years when he was trying to solidify his legacy and he was overspending and accumulating everything, but not knowing how to actually, you know, be true to the properties he's purchased, we run into this problem. And you guys are nickel and diming because it's because you're trying to make shareholder value, but you're making bad decisions that are killing your parks and everything else. And then you're trying to hide behind this hundred years. You're not going to be here another hundred years if you don't fix it now. Nope. Anyway, that's what I have to say. I just come on, just can we just be good again? That's all I want. Make Disney great again. Oh, you can't say I that. I can't, say, you can't that. say that. I'm not even. I'm not. I, I, I'm not even conservative. So fuck you if you get mad about it. Make Disney great again. <laughs> take the take the dick out of Disney. What? His name's Bob. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, we're gonna wrap it up. I think we're gonna wrap it up. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news views. And rants, we'll talk later. Bye.